There's some crazy stuff happening down in Texas when it comes to Bitcoin mining. As we all know, Texas is one of the largest oil and gas locations in the United States. And all of a sudden, that industry is turning on to Bitcoin mining as the single greatest way for them to monetize all that energy. Now, down in Fort Worth, what we're seeing is the city council is voting this week on accepting a donation of three Bitcoin miners. They would sit inside of their government facility and actually mine Bitcoin. This is a huge attempt for them to become more crypto friendly or Bitcoin friendly. Now, as you start to think about why would a local government go ahead and do this? One, they're getting educated. They're realizing that Bitcoin can be the solution for a lot of problems and create economic prosperity and create jobs. And it can ultimately help them stabilize their grid. As they think about accepting these, what they're really doing is they're putting on display their thought process about Bitcoin and the crypto industry. As we see the city council vote for this, it'll be real interesting because if the city council starts to mine Bitcoin and literally profit off of this donation, they're going to hold Bitcoin on their balance sheet. And I guess that a lot of other cities, states, and local economies, all of a sudden, they're going to have people showing up saying, hey, I'd like to just give you this one Bitcoin miner, two Bitcoin miners, three Bitcoin miners. Really, people just want to get Bitcoin in the hands of their politicians and their local governments because it changes the way they think about the industry. Now, this is obviously a really big deal because over the last six to 12 months, what we've seen is hash rate from around the world. It's moved into the United States. Now the U.S. accounts for almost 50% of total hash rate after China went ahead and banned Bitcoin mining in 2021. As we continue to see this occur, what we are going to watch is the United States is going to get more and more concentrated ownership of that hash rate. That means that Bitcoin miners around the world are going to have to step up and start to balance it back out. So even the United States doesn't own more than 51%. If we go back to Texas, though, for a second, we've got the CEO of Poland. Kevin, sitting here saying Texas will be the Bitcoin capital of the world in the next two years. Whether you agree with them or you don't, what we know is that Texas is going to take a real run at it. They already have about 10% of the global hash rate, and they're only going to continue to lean into their DNA, which is the oil and gas energy and all that energy production. Then if we take a look here, we've got a quote from Colin Harper over at Luxor Technologies. He says, Texas is an energy state, and it has too much to gain. Many politicians in Texas are starting to see the benefits Bitcoin mining can bring be those from tax revenue, job creation, or grid stabilizing. At the end of the day, Bitcoin miners are going to flow to where they can find cheap energy. And somewhere like Texas has tons and tons of excess cheap energy. And so naturally, I do agree that Texas will become the capital of Bitcoin mining around the world. That's great for Texas. That's great for the U.S. And it's ultimately great for Bitcoin. As we continue to see this play out, wait and watch as many local governments start to adopt Bitcoin in various ways. Maybe they'll accept it. Maybe they'll pay some of their employees in it. Maybe they'll go ahead and actually mine Bitcoin themselves. However they do it, politicians at the local and state level are realizing Bitcoin's good for business and they're trying to get in the game. Hey you, did you like this video? Great, we make five of them a day and post them here on this channel. Make sure you're subscribed, like the video, and see you next time.